Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Aaron Advantage Reacts. Today, I found an article with a pretty intriguing headline, so I thought it'd be fun to go through this and take a look and react to the different things that are on here, because apparently, these are 10 things that your home doesn't need anymore, and they want to know how many you still have. <laughs> Number one, house keys. Apparently it's getting a lot easier and more convenient to put an electronic lock on your home. There's a lot of different kinds that have uh, touch keypads, there's things that are just push button options, but apparently they are much more convenient and work better than they have in the past, so you might consider actually upgrading and getting rid of your home keys. Personally, I still carry my key with me all the time. Even though I never walk in my front door, I'm always going into the attached garage, but hey, you know, I still like having it there and knowing that I'm secure. <laughs> Number two, telephone jacks. I don't know any builders who are putting these in homes anymore unless you specifically ask for them, but I also don't know anybody who's specifically asking for them. In the day and age that we live in today, I have looked at several different homes recently with their seller's disclosures to find out if they know whether or not their telephone jacks in their home are working or not. And to be honest, almost always they show that they do not know because people just aren't using landlines that much anymore so you probably don't need a home uh, phone if, if you're looking at upgrading or doing anything else you can probably get those things taken out of and you don't need them anywhere in your house number three tv cabinets these were all the rage back in the mid 90s to mid 2000s because everybody needed a spot to put their tv and hide it away but technology has improved significantly and now tvs are much much wider uh, as far as size goes and much thinner so most TV cabinets aren't actually going to fit anything that's large enough for what you would want in your house. I've got a 65 inch TV in my living room and there is absolutely no way I would want that inside a cabinet of any kind. Number four, traditional water heater tanks. Tankless water heaters have come a long way and they do much more efficient work so it's probably not as common to find people putting in new tank water heaters in their home if they're building. If you've got a tank water heater in your house, they are prone to leaks, they're prone to problems, and it's probably going to be a little bit better to consider upgrading to a tankless system if you ever need to replace that. So keep that in mind if you're ready to move forward. I personally have a tank uh, water heater in my house, so this is another one that I still have personally, but let me know if you still have one in your home. Number five, manual thermostats. Nest digital thermostats out there from Honeywell and a bunch of other companies have gotten significantly better over the past few years. They are Wi-Fi enabled. You can control them from your phone. They're fantastic options that exist. Still personally, I have the old electronic manual thermostat in my house as well, but this is something that I've been considering upgrading here more recently, especially with the uh, new electric bills that we've been getting over the past year or two. When they're continually going up, it makes me want to go back and find something I can program a little bit easier to have a little bit better control to see if maybe I can make it work a little bit, bit more efficiently. Number six, gas ranges. Uh, I'm kind of 100% against this option. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want a gas range in their house. It says swap it out for induction cooktops, but personally, I love cooking with gas a lot better than electric cooking. Um, I think it gives you a little bit more control over the temperature. You're able to actually cook a little bit better. So for me personally, I disagree with this 100%. I think gas ranges are the way to go. Maybe I'm in the minority there, but let me know what your thoughts are on that. But as far as I'm concerned, if you have a gas range, stick with it. There's nothing wrong with that. Number seven, light switches. Seriously? They're saying this is one of the things that is no longer necessary in a home? I mean, I get that you can do automated options and do other things, but I definitely think having light switches in your house is something that most people probably still have, and I don't think it's getting outdated or needs to be taken away anytime soon. Number eight, traditional power strips and plugs. Uh, it says power outlets are still a necessity, but they may soon be replaced with smart plugs and other power strips that are more energy efficient. You know, I'm all about finding ways to become more energy efficient and do things like that, but I think this is probably technology that is not the most commonplace thing for people to have in their home right now. So to ask the question, how many of these do you still have in your home, as if it's like some crazy outdated technology, doesn't make sense to me on this list. 
Number nine, hardwired alarm systems. I will agree that this one is becoming a little bit more outdated. There are tons of technologies available now that have wireless security systems that are available for a lot of different homes, a lot of different applications. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing if you have a hardwired security system in your home. It's probably being monitored by a third party and it's got a lot of great functions and features. But if you're thinking about putting a new one into your house, I think wireless options are probably the option that I would look at myself most frequently to see what you can do and how you can set your system up. And number 10, standard doorbells. I actually was just looking through this list a second ago and I talked to uh, my videographer, Scotty, and I said, you know, honestly, I probably need to get to a position where I put a ring doorbell or other uh, Google Nest something at my front door. We have Amazon packages being delivered all the time, even when we're not home. I get notifications. They tell me where they put it. And I think it probably would be a good idea to go ahead and have something there with that surveillance just in case. Luckily, we live in a neighborhood where I have never had anything go missing off my porch. But that is not always the case for all people, and I think with the frequency of deliveries that we are getting today, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and invest. There's a lot of great affordable options out there, uh, so that's probably one of those things that I'll be upgrading soon. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode of the Aaron Advantage Reacts. I would love to hear your thoughts on these 10 items and whether or not you still have them in your home or if you're thinking about replacing them. Let me know in the comments below.